it is in the book of Acts, in the chapter 11, verse 26, that the followers of Christ were starting to be called Christians. You see, Christian is a term to describe followers of Christ. It, it's, it's interesting when you think about it, because why are, were they considered followers of Christ? It's because they were doing the things Christ called them to do, making disciples, doing things that uh, was related to believers. And the problem is, is that sometimes what we wind up doing is using a word that is descriptive of something and it applying it to the person or to us as being the thing. And it's not. It's not the thing. It's the following that's the thing. It's being the follower of Christ. Go into all the world, Jesus said. That's what it meant to be a follower. Living a life particularly uh, in a particular way that demonstrates that they are followers of Jesus. Unfortunately, we can teach people how to be Christians, but you can't teach them how to be a follower. That's an internal th event. That's something going on inside of them that they choose to do. Now, I get that the other things, the, the law and the commandments and all of those can be tutors to help us move into that place of being a follower. But it doesn't happen just naturally. It doesn't happen like a baptism. It just, it happens when we believe. And belief is something we choose to do, something our hearts choose to do. And so the idea of being a follower of Christ is ultimately saying he is the Lord of my life. And I am leading my life according to his commands and his word in doing what I'm doing. Think about that today, would you? Does that describe you? Are you a follower of Christ? Or are you a Christian? Or are you both? Hey, until next time, God bless.